All right, good morning, everybody. It is mid-December here in the Northeast, and as you can see, the boat's out of the water. Um, so now it's time to winterize the boat. Uh, I gotta go through the process and do everything for it. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is do the lower unit oil change, and we're gonna go over that today. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is, obviously you're gonna need new lower unit gear oil for my Mercury 225 Optimaxes. This is the recommended uh, gear lube we use. You're gonna need this pump, which you can get real cheap online, Amazon or West Marine, um, just to help you pump it into the lower unit oil itself. Every time I do this, I like to replace the uh, the screws and the gaskets, which you'll see when I remove the screws, where these come from. There's two different kinds. There's these ones with the magnetic uh, tips on there to attract any uh, metal fragments that may come off during the course of the season, or these standard ones. Uh, it really doesn't matter which ones you use. I don't find these very effective anyway, so I probably end up using these ones that are in there right now. You'll need a flathead screwdriver to take them out and some kind of oil pan to catch the oil that comes out. All right, so as you can see, I already did the one side here. That one's taken care of. We'll get it out, you do it down here. So, you got two screws. You got the upper one here, and you got the lower one down here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is tilt your motor down, put a pan underneath, or a trash can lid. Uh, you're gonna unscrew this lower one, and then you're gonna unscrew this upper one to allow some air in there so it flows out a lot quicker. So we'll show you that next. All right, first things first, get this lower one, unscrew it. So here's that screw I was telling you, and then there's a gasket. Uh, right there, you don't wanna lose that, but I replace it every year. You'll see it's starting to flow, but to get it really going, you gotta undo this one. Same thing, get the gasket out. Now you can see it's going a little more steady. So we'll let that drain. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. If you don't think you're getting it all out, you can tilt the motor up a little bit, let gravity help force it out there, but this will get most of it out for you. All right, now it's drained for about 20 minutes. Uh, what I like to do is get these gaskets prepped on the screws, ready to go. That way when you pull the uh, the pump out, when it starts flowing, you can get the screw right in there really quick. Just pop them on here like that. I'm using the same screws, they're already on there. There's no problems with them, so no need to replace those yet. There's one on there. Have these prepped, ready to go. All right, now we got our oil hooked up to our pump. What you're gonna do is just thread it right in here. Nice and tight. Now you're gonna start pumping until it starts to flow out of this hole here. All right, so now you can see, it's starting to ooze out of the hole here. So get your screw ready. Make sure you thread it on straight. Now this could be the tricky part, because right as you unscrew this, it starts flowing out real fast. So you gotta be quick with it. Make sure you got your gasket on there. Nice and hang tight. All right, that's it. Just clean up your oil. Easy task, not too bad. Easy to do it yourself. All right, so that's all there is to it. Easy do it yourself task, easy maintenance on your boat. 
You should do that every time you pull the boat out of the water uh, at the end of the season, just in case there's any water in there, you don't want it to freeze. Um, so, you know, replace the uh, lower unit oil. Um, like I said, it's not too bad to do. Now that the boat's out of the water, obviously we're not gonna have many fishing videos, but we'll be doing a lot of upkeep and maintenance throughout the season. Got a lot of work to do before we put it back in the water in April. Um, so stay tuned. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. Like, give us a comment on what else you'd like to see. If there's anything else in the boat you'd like us to go over. Other than that, thanks for watching.